like somebody's granny, but <coughs> I am still recovering. Oh, the COVID cough and how I did not miss it. For a little timeline, I finished my quarantine one day before school started. First day of school, I could not smell or taste, but I still had to go. Black moms. I am going to urgent care tomorrow. Oh, I can't remember if I went to urgent care. That day. ended up doing a chest x-ray. They did give me an inhaler. I only took it when I needed it and when I wanted to exercise, but that was extremely hard to do post-COVID. Oh gosh, I'm about to freaking die, man. Whew. I went on my first run. Since having COVID, I am, my lungs are shot to crap, honestly. I'm working on math homework right now. I should be in math class, but I woke up this morning at 3.40 with a migraine. And yesterday I woke up at 4.30 with a migraine. Not being able to sleep for days on end. The process just kept going. The next day I woke up at 2.30. The medicine was wearing off. My face hurts. I have a dentist appointment. A chiropractor appointment so just to kind of fill in some gaps with all of this my face was hurting because sinus pressure and when you have migraines sometimes you get residual um, pain in your face sometimes people get it in the jaw said I had a dentist appointment they thought it was TMJ I also was going to the chiropractor because they thought that maybe my shoulders and neck were out of a line. Positioning could fix that. I still go to the chiropractor for management. It didn't fix all the issues I was having. Kind of a crazy busy day. I have not ate at all today. I'm on so many medications that my stomach freaking feels like a bomb went off. For context, I have acid reflux. I was taking a whole host of NSAIDs, which can, over time, continued use, disrupt and ruin the lining of your stomach and intestine. I have to make it to school by 12.58. It's 12.12 and I have to finish this math assignment. So that math class I was talking about was probability and statistics. I was missing so much. I ended up not being able to catch up. I failed that course. I had to take an alternative math class, which put me in trigonometry in the spring. It for sure gave me a run for my money. And pick out an outfit because it was picture day, but I missed it. Did end up missing picture day, um, which was really sad to me because all of the seniors were doing like funny picture day and I had to take them on retake picture day. Another implication with not being able to get my school picture is I didn't get to have a school ID. So I had an activity pass which was linked to my student ID. Couldn't get into the games for free easily. When you can't go to the games which are highlights of your senior year, out on that social aspect. Johnny X! This is just like a backstory on how I ended up at that game. The back ways I took passes by my high school. Still saw the stadium lights on. I knew Macy. She got me in with her friends and really close in the student section. Good evening. Good in shortness of breath and I still don't feel like I can stand that long. This I can't stand is such an issue. I have a extremely long high school. And there's one hallway that goes from the very south end to the very north end. And the way my classes were set up, I was walking end to end four times a day. More context, we used to run up and down the hallways at the school for track practice when I'm in track as a freshman. So this was like an exercise. You have six minutes to get there or you will be considered tardy. This already facing truancy because I had missed so much school. As tardies, you get detention for that. So I was going to be sick facing truancy and potentially in detention for hours on end for not being able to make it to class. So An update on the truancy situation, I did get documentation from all of my doctors, so it ended up being okay. The second week of school was kind of a bummer. I was not there for most of it. I'm behind in every single class and I think I have a good amount of reading to do. All the reading I had to do was for a college class called intro to literature reading wasn't really my thing people in that class were really smart it's just that i was going through it with migraines so i did not have proper time to apply myself and give my all to this course 
feeling not enough in a classroom full of your peers is very hard and it made me not want to come to school or not want to go to the class. I ended up withdrawing from the class. I lost my mom $650 and I had to take an alternative English class. I ended up liking, I got to take creative writing and now I'm super into writing my own poetry. I also got to have my home room teacher. She ended up being my English teacher. I'm so thankful for Miss Julie Coulter. I know that God will provide. I tell myself in the midst of the storm that God will not ever give me more than I can bear. This too shall pass. God is in control and all things that are good or perfect come from him. He is not wishing pain on you. When you're going through that pain, you start to think, why me? You know, why am I going through this? Lord, why would you give me this cup? Like you healed all of my sickness on the cross. Why? Why me? And you start to blaming yourself. Um, you know, have I sinned? And we have all sinned and fall short. But you think, did I sin and this is why God is put am I being punished and don't think that you're being punished there's a scripture in this life you will have difficulties and as my pastor Delmar White says life won't always be a tiptoe through tulips you know we're gonna have trials and hardships and having migraines has made me take my time so much more serious and a good day means so much more to me than it did before having migraines and I just live life to the fullest and try to get everything I can done in a day because I didn't know you know how long my good days were gonna last but don't think that you've done something um, just think that I'm going through it right now, but the pain I am feeling cannot compare to the joy and just take it with a grain of salt and know that this, this too shall pass, truly. Hello guys, in the midst of a small migraine, I made it to two hours, but I don't think people understand how much of a fight that was for me to be there. How much can I take of this? I didn't want to overdose on anything and potentially cause myself liver issues, which was a prominent concern because my lips have been so dry and then probably go to like a Dollar General. I love to look around in Dollar General. Maybe it's just a Kansas thing, but they be having like some nice stuff sometimes. Get a car wash and get a Twix bar because I really want something sweet. Wanting something sweet was my mistake. You can see in the video I got a car wash. After getting the car wash, I went to Dollar General and I got a Twix bar. I found exactly what I was looking for in CVS. Like, rosy pink with cocoa butter I have just not been able to sleep and then I've just been working on my planner I feel like my life is so much easier when I plan for things and write things down I am so much more productive when I have a planner a journal that I'm just writing things down I was watching a sermon the pastor had said our brains forget but paper never forgets paper always remembers so you can look back at things that you have written years ago um, see how you feel then compared to now I'm on a lot of medicines I think that's why I can't sleep I try to tire myself out tiring myself out with these migraines never worked it was nerves in combination with the medicine I did get into a car accident that day nervous about the financial implications that would come with wrecking my car also driving again and knowing that I have to really buckle down in the midst of all this pain and find a job I made a list of everything I have to do in the morning if you've ever had like, so much on your mind writing it down can help so it's kind of double-edged sword depending on how much is kind of racing through your mind I it was president of my high school's uh, black student union my junior year, which was total COVID year, and my senior year. Because I had high hopes for this club, and I did not get to do everything I wanted. My club, black student union. I wanted to get t-shirts and volunteer opportunities planned. It talked over me. It was just very hard from a leadership perspective, dealing with students who didn't always want to be led. I'm headed to um, Walgreens to get some melatonin gummies. I secured the bag. It's melatonin, five milligrams. Don't really feel a difference. Tomorrow's game day. I fan wear for my school. Kind of want a long sleeve tee. So when I come back as an alumna, I can wear my like shirt during. I probably plan to come back for Hoko. Ended up being home for homecoming. I worked that day and I did not want to see people from high school. It's a freshman in college. I am not a freshman in college that I ended up taking a break we'll see I have so much ish to figure out guys it's not even funny I still have so very much to figure out 
Hi guys, I am happy because I slept last night. I did not sleep great. The melatonin gummy doubled the dose. I kept having short dreams, like 15 minute dreams, then I'd wake up and go back to sleep and enter another 15 minute dream about something totally different. I did wake up this morning with a migraine. I was talking to one of my friends, hey Leslie, I Benadryl, it will knock you out. So now, if I cannot sleep, I will take Benadryl, which is not what it's meant for. You will be passed out. Peace, love, happiness.